Uh, so how different is it working on solo material as opposed to the acid rain material? Or is it a different process for you at all? It is a lot easier um, to get deeper on my own for some reason. Um, with acid rain, it, it's it's like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to compromise to what you got. You know, as anyone would say of the group, you know, the compromise. But as a solo artist, I feel like I'm really unleashed, like uncaged, where I can just... Um, you know, just have the whole the whole freedom thing, and I do a lot of three verse type tracks, which I like to do, and I like to write a lot of my, you know, um, be able to elaborate on a subject matter in three verses. You can be able to give different angles and different views of that same subject matter in the three verses, and um, I feel like my writing is a little more clever, a little more, um, a little more conscious, and um, and it's just, you know, I just feel like more. Like I said, like Unleashed, just able to just conquer things <laughs> a little bit better when it's on my own, but most of the acid rain, um, and, um, and it's still new to me being a solo artist. Like, I released my first solo record in 2007 called Hair Off My Chest, and this is my fourth one, and it's it's a lot fun, and it, I feel like I'm reinventing myself when I'm going solo, and it's, um, in every record, you know, I like to also uh, not look back at the last and just you know, bam, promote this new record, this is me, this is who I am. You not change who I am, there's no gimmick to it, it's the same person, but it's a new view, and it's um, a new day, new music, you know, like something new and refreshing, like a, it, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much, you know, my, my kind of thing, like Acid Rain, we've been doing it for so long, you know, um, and uh, we don't release records too often, but when we do, you know, we, um, they're always cool. We always enjoy making them, and um, you know we're still about to release a new record pretty soon with a uh, MC from Japan named MC Gebel, and um, it's a bilingual record, Japanese and English, which should be coming out shortly. So yeah, I'm still grinding with that. So, um, so this is your fourth solo record, but is this the first one where it's just uh, one MC, one producer? Well, actually, my last record um, I worked on was with Mute Speaker from the UK, and he produced the whole record. It was called On and Offspring. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, that record right there was the, probably the first one we did. I did with a single producer, and this is the second. But I like the process because it's a lot quicker, and it's a lot more efficient and easier to, you know, communicate with that one producer, you know. Yeah. And having that guy on deck and online, and you guys are on the same wave- wavelength, you know, um, mm-hmm. with time and with productivity. And it's a lot easier to get albums done with one producer, I think. Because um, when you're, you know, working with multiple people, you're, you have to, you know, pretty much stay in touch with all these different people. And, you know, a lot of them are gone or on tour or busy. Or, and um, it takes a lot longer to get beats back and stems and, you know, the back and forth thing. Mm-hmm. The process is just a lot. It takes a lot longer working with multiple producers. So it's kind of like the avenue I like to go for now, you know, is you know, working with one guy and, you know, really close communication type of deal and um, I think records come out great like that too because you know it shows like different sides of that same producer like if you notice on my latest record not one track sounds the same as the next track you know um, NASA's a producer who can you know pretty much who's versatile who can change up his vibes and you all you hear that raw like prog rock feel on this album or prog rap feel I should say throughout this album you, you hear how everything's progressive, whether it's sampling or, you know, he's doing some synths in there, you know, now. Yeah. And, um, but everything just varies. And I, that's how I like, always like to keep my music and not give you that same boom bap in every track or that same, you know, drum or hook, you know, sequence. I like to change it up on people, you know, but still, you know, be my stamp, but just hit them, hit them from a different place with every song as it, as the album play progresses, you know.